Am I scared? Am I scared? Go, go, go! Yeah. Am I scared? Holy shit! I love that. My name's Greg Johnson, and people call me the Tornado Hunter. Being a Tornado Hunter is really um, a, a fancy word for being a reporter. My job is to capture the most incredible storms on earth, to take pictures and video, and to get that to the media as fast as I possibly can. So now it's been 10 years that I've been doing this as my only job. So tornado very simply is just wind. It happens anywhere on earth. Storm chasing is dangerous. We're, we're, we're talking about the fastest wind speeds on earth, three or 400 kilometers an hour. The things that are flying around in that wind, rocks and wood and dirt and, and a vehicle or parts of a house, those things can be deadly. We have very good technology to keep us safe. Now I'm also driving in a tank. I'm driving in a vehicle which is bulletproof, that is designed to roll. You know, I trust that vehicle to get me out of very dangerous situations. Oh my fuck. So as we're getting closer and closer and closer to the tornado, it wants to suck everything into the tornado. The wind's hitting you from behind. You would have to be very close to the tornado to get actually sucked in, maybe maybe 100 or 200 meters away. If we maintain a reasonable distance, one kilometer, for example, away, the tornado's not gonna move so fast that we're gonna be put into danger. I always want to get as close as I can to the tornado, always. That is my goal, every time. Sometimes uh, because of the road network, I can only get, say, 10 kilometers away. And sometimes the road network means, hey, I have to get three or 400 meters away. I love that. Are there moments of fear? Absolutely. But in general, the fear isn't for my safety, was somebody killed? Was somebody injured? You know, those things are, are terrifying. But in 2014, I was able to witness the first time ever recorded two EF4 tornadoes on the ground at the same time, about a kilometer apart from each other. And both of them had wind speeds in excess of 400 kilometers an hour. That was probably the most impressive thing I've ever seen in my life. Tornado hunting actually starts uh, a couple of weeks before a tornado. Every single day during tornado season, I check the forecast four times every day. I look, I say, okay, we're going to see storms in this location. So what we do about 48 hours ahead of time, we start driving. Sometimes driving 30 hours to get to that. The United States and Canada, North America is huge. As time goes by, we're taking our target, which is this huge space, and we're, we're narrowing that target down over the course of time. So that when, when I wake up in the morning of a storm chase day, I'm usually within 80 or 100 kilometers of where we expect something really serious to happen. And so if we're within 100 to 200 kilometers, we're going to get to that storm and we're going to get to that tornado. And then from there, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, uh, when we actually can see the storm in front of us with our eyeballs, now we don't even worry about the technology. There's a team of three of us. Driving is dangerous. So one person just dedicated to driving. We have one person dedicated to navigation and one person dedicated to clicking, taking pictures, and that's me. For the vegans in the crowd, um, this might not be a very good one, but one of my dreams is to see a cow flying around in a tornado. And if I can get a picture of a cow flying around in a tornado, that would be the end of my career. Drop the camera, I'm out. <laughs>